The management and staff of the Burian Christian Academy, who have suffered a number of robbery attempts in the past, is once again a victim of thieves who successfully broke into the school. The police were on the scene this morning conducting their investigation. The principal of the school, Reuben Mains, says last night's incident is evident that schools may be targeted by thieves. They, they were able to actually bend back iron, which was for security, in the window to make a, a space to pass. and It would not have been easy. And then um, they actually completely broke uh, the door inside on the office to gain access to the office. Well, we don't really keep money at school. You know, there was just a very little bit of change, just, you know, a few dollars. Um, they took some snack items from the tuck shop and they took some cleaning supplies. We said um, at the most, the value of everything they took might have been $75. But the damage is much more. But the damage is maybe $1,000. You know, because we have to replace a window, we have to replace a door, and even the gate was broken. So uh, we have to do repairs to that. I don't know why they broke the gate. That has nothing to do, but the gate was broken. <laughs> Mains says schools must be aware and take precautions. We have not had a break-in for a couple of years. Uh, but in the past, uh, we had had uh, some school years where several times during the year, uh, and, and sometimes they really worked hard to, like, uh, pound and chip and break, you know, just to gain some kind of access. Usually the damage is, um, the expense of the damage is far more than anything they could find because there's really not much of value to take. What appears to be a sting of robbery this month targeting schools has also affected another private learning institution in St. George. That incident supposedly took place last Tuesday during the passage of Tropical Storm Brett. That matter too was reported to the police by the school's principal. GBN made contact with the school's principal, who opted not to publicize the robbery, only to say that their cooking gas and two pots were stolen by the individual. Akisha Felix for GBN News.